here is a blade edger. I'm going to show how to switch out and put a fresh blade in there. So on the blade edger, you're going to see a hole. There's a hole there. So you need to find this hole in order to change a blade. And so what you need, anything you can use, you can find a screw, anything that'll fit in that hole. You gotta get it in all the way until it locks up. So that's locked. And this is one of the most crucial things about changing these, is they're backwards. You gotta turn it clockwise in order to loosen it so it's backwards. So and then this is 13 millimeter. I'm turning it clockwise. Kind of have to maybe give it a hit to get it started. And there we go. And once it's loose, you can just pretty much turn it by hand. So make sure you're paying attention to how it comes apart. Here's this outer plate. And that's it. And there's the inner plate. And this piece comes off too. So make sure you still got your Allen key in there. Find your new blade. And there's a little ridge there, circular ridge that it'll fit perfectly into. Make sure that goes back on the same way. Always be keeping pressure on it. Opposite, counterclockwise to tighten. So just keep your thumb on there so it, it doesn't come out of place or else it'll, you'll be tightening it the wrong way. So here we go. I'm going counterclockwise until I can't do it anymore. Make sure my Allen key's locking it into place. And tighten it. And try not to go too tight, because you'll break the threads. And that's it. And then fire it up and get to work. <laughs>